he ain't by Balad. Why do you call him Balad? <laughs> you like Balad? I'm Russian. I'm allowed to. Yeah, you call him Balad. Like, you don't call him Balad. That's how we say it, in Mother Rooster. Oh shit, that's fucked up. <laughs> nah, he didn't get. He, let me fucking play the fucking shit. Which one are you gonna play? The voice of five nine. You know. I only heard some of the uh, response. What J- Lord Jamar had a response? Yeah. Oh god. Like, I don't even care about that shit. Like, I don't even care about that shit. Well, he's like, what, you didn't think I was going to respond? No, no, no. That, that's just, that's just, just, no. Just, but, but you know why just, Royce is doing this, though, right? Because he's on Eminem's dick. No. It's because fucking Eminem is his boy, and he's fucking sticking up for his no, That's what I just said. He's on Eminem's dick. <laughs> that's like... Someone fucking pissing the shit out of fucking you non-stop, yeah. non-stop, and you're not really just like you don't say anything. I'm like, Kurt, you want to say something? Right. Well, you know like, what? No, I'm not gonna say something. Not gonna say something. And then it gets to a point where I'm just like, I hear that shit over and over, and then I'm like, all right, no, I gotta stick. All right, well, let's friend. let's but let's be for real of what he said. He wasn't dissing Eminem. In fact, the last thing I listened to, I think you were here. He said that. He feels that Eminem is a better rapper than him. That's what Lord Jamar said. I agree with Lord Jamar too, though, so it's hard for me. But, but so, 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 and, and, keep it motherfucking real. There's a, like, so we should just listen to the fucking Rice of Five Nine. We're gonna listen to the Rice of Five Nine shit, because he's gonna say a couple things that were just completely well, fucking wrong. He's also kind of saying, like, yo, you let me go at But we say this shit. No, but he should have been mad at Black. Is what I feel like. He should have just been, but he shouldn't have been. Just let's just listen to the fucking shit. Let's listen to the fucking shit because Royce of Five Nine is I, like he was wild. See, this is somebody talking about what's feeling. Like, he's mad at them. But he probably but it was as mad as he as he. As, the way I feel is he wasn't as mad when he did that as sometimes he does get angry about the situation. You know, like, I think if people knew how much money he made off of that shit, man, they probably would look at it different. Like, especially Lord Jamar, you know, like, you're a legend in the game, you're part of a legendary rap group. It's like you're going and sitting on this man's couch, sitting in this man's chair, and, you know, like, you running up these views because you got so much controversial shit to say about one fucking person. That's not true. And, you know, he walks away with the check, and you walk away, you know, um, craving attention. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, I don't even like seeing niggas in that space. Right. I don't like. He's saying how he's always on Lord Jamar just talk about one person. That's totally, he's, he said, you know, he told my one, no, they don't. Lord Jamar talks about, uh, he asked Lord Jamar about every goddamn thing. He asks about anybody. He talks about all kind of motherfuckers. They don't just talk about him and him. Too literal. That he's gonna say it a couple of times that all they do is come there and talk about Eminem. Dude, they totally don't just come there and talk about Eminem. And when they do, it's totally fucking Vlad asking the questions. Lord Jamar never brings up Eminem. Vlad is the one that's trying to stir it up. And he got fucking voice going. He played voice on this shit. Because just don't, just ignore this shit. You know what I mean? Seeing you in that space, brother. You know what I mean? Because like, Talking about him like real niggas don't listen to his music and all that. First of all, man, you're not like the measuring stick of who's real or who's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what you think about us over here or you think. All right, go ahead. Say what you have to say. I mean, just on a small point, um, Lord Jamal, that the one big thing in this music is revolution. Kind of uh, military revolution. It's something. No, listen to conscious the 5% revolution. Album. Listen what, to the 5% all right, but go ahead, make the point, make the point. Not and also the same thing with Willie D. Like, they've always. They're constantly more like. More radical than they really are? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. But, you know, niggas talk more radical than they really are, just like fucking Royce is doing right now. But listen, Royce. Is tripping off of two points right there. Let me see if I can remember what he just said. First of all, he said, You're not the measuring stick of what's cool and stuff. You said, Niggas. See, we could go back to the fucking uh, uh, top 20 list. Eminem wasn't nowhere on that fucking list. Because in all reality, 
so-called street motherfuckers or hood motherfuckers or ghetto motherfuckers or black people or whatever like that. Don't listen to Eminem. Like, I live in fucking North. We live in North. You never hear Eminem play on a fucking radio around here. And we talked about that before. All right? So, and, and we did that list 12 years ago. And Eminem wasn't nowhere on that fucking list. And he still don't deserve to be in front of nobody that's on that list, the top 20 motherfuckers. Because his influence is not the same. Like, his influence is big on the internet. And that's kind of like what, what Lord Jamar was saying. Like, there's... Look... There's a lot of white people on the internet. And uh, mostly a lot of white people, uh, white guys like Eminem. So he's his his presence on the internet is oh, I mean, over it what it really is. Little, I mean, no, no, no. I'm not saying he's not a superstar. I'm saying that his... His... Like acceptance or his... his like, like his love or something like that is different on the internet than it is in like the, the real street or whatever like that. Like in the regular places where hip hop was always played and all like that. It's like when Eminem was out, like he's been out. You know what I'm saying? His most popular songs he came out with before the internet got picked up. You know what I'm saying? But but there is a time there are certain cases you may be talking to people about MCs that are good or top tier MCs. And I don't bring them up, but I have had more than enough conversation with people where they brought up Eminem as one of their. And if you think back, most of the people are not for real hip hop. Well, no, that's ain't not no well because ain't no for not, real hip hop bring, saying, people bringing I'm up. I'm not gonna qualify Eminem. anyone. <laughs> Motherfucker, this difference between a rap I'm, fan no, and a hip hop. No, because what I'm saying is, I was surprised when these people would say. It wasn't like, oh, I was expecting this right, check this out. to say Eminem. Check, like, I've talked to people that are slightly not, rap fans. Whatever. No, I'm talking about, I've talked to hood motherfuckers that All right, listen, bring up Eminem. But listen, Eminem is, is in the top five when it comes to technically skilled rappers. Can I also say something real quick? I, sometimes I feel like when I'm having that conversation and they say Eminem to me, it's kind of like, they're saying it to me because I'm also white. Wait, so you're trying to they're, they're trying to kind of like trying to say I like a white rapper too. I guess I don't because yeah. sometimes it's very weird that they're bringing up Eminem. To me. Yeah, okay, but see, like I said, like there's a special category where Eminem is like one of the top people, in. and that's when you're talking about strictly technical rhymers. You're saying strictly like that's not the best MC of all time though. You know what I'm saying like. The best gangster rapper of all time is not necessarily the best MC of all time. The uh, the top five uh, uh, most conscious rapper is not the, the necessarily the best. Although on our list he kind of is, like it's just KRS, all right. But like, so KRS is towards the top of that list, and he's one of the top conscious rappers. But he's not one of the top technical rappers. I wouldn't say. I say he has way more styles than Eminem. I would say that that, that KRS has way more flows and he's used more way more flows on records than Eminem has. But technically, he's not as technical. Like I, I, I just wouldn't classify him KRS as like a like fully like a technical rapper. You know what I'm saying? Think, I, yeah, I, completely, I agree with you, but I also think that we also have to make um, a differentiation. 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 Yeah. Between Hip hop motherfuckers and hood motherfuckers. A hood motherfucker doesn't necessarily mean a hip hop motherfucker. That, that that's fine. That's because fine too. Lot, but I that's had the... a, I had a line saying, motherfuckers don't care if you listen to Kiss or Barbara Streisand. Motherfuckers don't care what the fuck you listen to. Who? Who? Fucking Jada Kiss had a line. I, I, I don't get that. Like, what do you mean? You know, motherfuckers don't like, really don't care listen. what you listen to. If they like you, they like you. If they don't like you, they don't like you. You know what I'm saying? It's not what you're listening to that's really good to find who the fuck you are anyway. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Complete side note. Eminem Station, Shade 45, had Scram Jones doing what he calls a scramble mix that I listened to on Friday, which is just like a, two hours of whatever he wants to play. And he played nothing but Jada Kiss for two hours. And, and, and right at the beginning of it, because I was listening to it on the way down to fucking what's the name and shit when I made that long ass delivery and shit. He was playing fucking nothing but back to fucking back Jadakiss. When he first started playing, I was like, ah, Jadakiss didn't get into that top 20 either. 
You know what I'm saying? Jada, Jada Kiss is not in our fucking top 20 either. You know what I'm saying? He's a dope rapper. He's probably in the top 30. You know what I'm saying? He's probably in the top 30, maybe top 40. You know what I'm saying? Jada Kiss. But I was like, eh, Jada Kiss, he says ill shit. Because after I listened to all of those rhymes, he's got ill bars. He's got, he's got ill bars. It's just not. It's, it, and, and see, Royce is going to say something about Lord Jamar and stuff like this. And this is something that Lord Jamar has and maybe even Jada Kiss has. But Royce the Five Nine don't have. Which is like a classic song. No, he don't. Where's no Five Nine? Don't got no fucking yes, classic songs. He, has he don't got song no songs that nobody gives a fuck told about. Told you about this several times. His first. Not that no, like a lot of people know about. Dude, that's not. Like, it could be. Was the number one selling single amongst DJs. Okay, great. All right, hold on a second. Period of time. So therefore, he did have. He All right, slow down, slow down, slow down. There's a difference between a dope song. A song that everybody knows and a everybody classic song. Everybody no, no, no. I'm saying, you. like, like I just said, I just told you three Lord different Jamar songs. Slow that, down. That's a brand new. Beat. That he was in brand new beats. He was in a group his whole fucking life. But he, but he, he's not a solo artist. He's a he's, he's like a group. Saying, hey, no, no, no. If he's on a classic song. song. Ghostface he's, did. That's a classic song. You probably give me a Ghostface song. You give me a Wu Tang song. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't. No, no, no. See, that's not fair. That's not fair. Royce the Five Nine. Royce the Five Nine is a solo artist. Lord Jamar is from a group. That's he was in a group his whole life. He wasn't. He wasn't. Album. Dude, he was in a group. You know what I'm saying? And when he was in a the group, they made classic songs. I agree. All right, Brand New has classic songs. Royce the Five Nine not doesn't say that. Royce the Five doesn't have any. He has. He might he, have he might have dope songs. He might have. Look, look. He might have dope songs. He might have he songs a classic that. Classic album. No, he doesn't. Critics, Do you know what he fucking like? Pop critics will tell you that the Book of Ryan. Is a classic album, dude. Most motherfuckers never even heard that shit. Cause you, yes, they do. Most no, do. no. Yes, this is not. You just don't ask people about it. The Book of Ryan is a classic album. <laughs> like, and you got to distinguish. It's also me. classic too. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Mad people know about Prime. People that didn't know no, about that, fucking like, listen, Royce Five Nine know out. a lot about. But check Prime. this out. They Prime know about the group. Thing. Like they know Just about like the... EMC has a huge following, so does Prime. No, no, no. That's not the same thing as having a classic song. Dude, you're saying brand new. Like you could and like I'm EMC don't Prime. got no classic songs. EMC don't got no classic songs. I like everybody in that group. They got dope music. But they don't have songs that everybody knows and they don't have no classic. Of course does. Alright, like Sean Price. Sean Price. Has a couple of classic songs. Like, no, by itself. I'm, like he doesn't. Like there's no classic Elvis Costello song. Okay. Like what? <sighs> Operation. No, Hotel. that's not. That's not a classic song. That's uh, not a cla- It's a dope therapy. song. Therapy. It's a dope song. It's no, not it's a, a classic. classic. A it's classic. Really it, nice. Push that's a that's that, that's not that's not Elvis That's all Everybody knows. Yes, that is because that was. Uh, you said health and skelter. No, but you said health and skelter. I said health and skelter. The, the two of them, rock and rock, don't have any classic songs yeah. together. No, they don't. Operation like, you, like, Lockdown Operation is a classic. Is... No, it's it's not a classic. It's, it's a dope song. It's a no, it's a it's a it's a dope song. Yeah, it's but it's not. No, it's a classic. Like a classic, era. a classic. No, no, no. How you gonna differentiate errors? No, I'm not talking about the differentiation of errors. I'm talking about. Like a classic era, is something that, like, you have to play. No, no, no. A classic is something like, like, so. I don't want to describe a song. I'm saying like, like I'm trying to describe what a classic is. It's hard to describe what a classic is, but a classic is like, it's it's got to be kind of like something that everybody knows. Like everybody has to know it kind. Of. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody in the genre got to know that song. It's, it's not just. Oh, the real, real underground heads love this song. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. You're saying, like, and it's like, like, Ice Ice Baby, everybody knows that song, but it's not a classic, though. You're saying, like, everybody knows that song, but it's not a well respected song. It's not. It's not. In whose eyes, though? In regular hip hopper's eyes. Regular hip hopper's eyes? No. Ice Ice, Ice Baby is not a fucking. Okay. Fuck with a well, radio. Like, radio niggas don't have classics. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about hip hop music. To the hop of the, just don't. That's a classic. But that that's rapping like a classic. 
because people outside of the genre really like that song too. That's why that. No, it's just that everybody it. ended up so knowing that song. Just it's because like because of the people in the genre. Like this, we, we're gonna have to go back into that Is more. Get Richard Die Trying a classic. You mean that song? No, the album. When do I? Uh, his album before that. The, the song, that, but that was the mixtape, I think. The, no, the, 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 album, the first the album he put out with fucking that's the album from the movie. But what, did that that had in the club on it and stuff? Yeah, yeah. the club and all that. I mean, that's like what's the other songs like? I think the stuff that's shot for uh, every song on that shit was, was a fucking play. No, no, no. no. But but album. but you know what's the what's iller though? Because his mixtape was more of a classic album than that one. To me and you probably. I'm just saying to know, everybody, know, like to know, like to everybody in hip hop. Because his mixtapes, a lot of people didn't have access to his mixtapes. That's everything from personal perspective. But I'm talking tapes. beyond personal perspective. A lot of people did not have access to his mixtapes. We did, but we lived in New York. Like, that's we what, made fi- what made 50 50 was that fucking mixtape. No, what made 50 50 was that fucking mixtape. What was How to Rival? What was How to Rival? No, that was on his first ship before. That was like his mixtape shit are classics. Like his, no. his, his fucking, like those fucking yes, first two mixtapes. They are, but people don't know about it like that. Yeah, don't know about I don't know. It. Like people in hip hop know. People in hip hop, that's well, what they I'm know. You, that's yeah, what he gets his mixtape. Ice Ice Baby. No, no, no. It's the, it's I, 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 I told you the difference between people knowing your shit and people liking it. Yo, but no, but you big like difference. in the club? Do you like yeah, Candy Shop? Song. Like no, I mean, it's, no, that's a commercial song. That's right, a commercial. but that's a classic song. <sighs> not real. But like, that's a known song. That's a super In, in the underground world, song. no, it's not. But that's what I'm saying. In the mainstream world, it is. Yeah. Not kind of more See, important to what we're talking about. That's the mainstream world. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. But you keep going back to what we're talking about. No, because that's not right. No, no, no. I'm saying this. Even shit that's in the underground, people know about it. You're saying people will still, and, and it doesn't matter. So if it's Tennessee a classic. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Like, 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 if the underground knows about it, that's what makes it a classic. Like, the mainstream can know about it and like it and stuff like that. But if the underground knows about it, that's what makes it a classic. Those are the people that's true to the genre. Fuck the mainstream. Man. I'm not talking about the mainstream. Man. They're not true to the genre. It don't make a difference well, with the mainstream to niggas. Go back like. to the original argument, Royce does have classic songs. Like what? You, dude, to you, he does. No, I'm just saying, like, there's not songs that. Ooh, it's a super classic. People don't never play yes, that they, shit. Maybe not now, but they did. Belong, when we was at ATF. Fuck. For years, that shit was. That's what makes them a classic because listen, you still play it after the, the fact time. that you're saying that nobody listens to it. Is completely killed by the fact that it was the number one selling song, not amongst listeners, but amongst the DJs that played for more than one person. I've always said this about Roy. He's a good technical rapper, but he doesn't really talk about shit. He's like Eminem. He's like Eminem. And this, that's what Lord Jamar was saying about Eminem. His content is not up. His content is not relatable. His content is very personal. And that's what I said to you about like your art. Like, because Eminem writes songs for himself. He doesn't write songs for the, the world. He writes songs for himself. And that's 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 not that's, that, that doesn't make it not, not a classic, but that's why everybody doesn't relate to his shit. And that's why you don't never hear fucking the only songs you ever hear played on, on the radio from Eminem like that or whatever you hear probably is Lose Yourself. That's it. That's a classic song. Lose yeah, Yourself is a classic song. Shady. Yeah, that's kind of a joke song. That's and Stan is not. Like a song that people love, you know what I'm saying? It's not a song. Yeah, so song people reckon, song. like people don't like play that and be like, I, I love this song. People that fucking dealt with suicide, they did, they did fuck with that they, song. They, they, the majority of people. <laughs> that's not the majority of people. That's that's the beautiful. A lot of people got awards so for a lot of dumb Elton fuck shit. A lot, a lot of people got a lot of awards for a lot of fuck shit. But that's that's regardless. Do you do you hear motherfuckers just playing that shit? Every, Anywhere, no, bro. Like, like, no, you never hear it. This is what Lord Jamal was saying. That's the only point he was making. He didn't say that Eminem wasn't was a bad rapper. He never said that, and that's how he taken it. You're saying he, Lord Jamal said Eminem is a better rapper than me. That's what he said. All right. Uh, yeah, we no, listened no. to it. He said that. No, he no, he said he's a better lyrical. But he doesn't talk like like put her together than I am. Bottom line, look, 
bottom line, he was saying that he's a better rapper than me, but he don't like his content. And that's what I've always said about Eminem way before Lord Jamal even said that shit. We used to talk about, when we talk about the, the, the top 20 list, ain't nobody argue about why ain't Eminem on this list. Y'all was arguing about all kind of shit. Ain't nobody said why ain't Eminem on this list. Nobody that's said that shit. Not, that's not written. He, he's gonna say this nigga's in the top five. He's on everybody's top five. I heard that. Fuck out of here. Agree with that. Hell no. He is not on everybody's top five. Man. No, that's not his opinion. The fact that he he's did. the loudest voice about so it. So what? Kind of, well, technically, the reason this is not even a good reason of why I'm not. I don't want. I'm not defending either. You ain't gotta be political. You ain't gotta be political. But this is what. <laughs> I'm just saying my real opinion. Why Royce is doing this right now? Why Royce is doing this right now? Because you got an album coming out? No, because <laughs> um, Vlad just interviewed uh, Conway. Okay. And he asked him you know, about the Lord Jamal yeah, shit. He said, you know, Lord Jamal feels that the hood motherfuckers don't listen to him and the. the and if Conway was keeping it real. Yeah, he, Conway, didn't, he kept it real. He was like. Well, what he was saying first, like, he kept it real on two. I forget. One, he was, like, kind of saying, like, he listened to him or whatever, or whatever. But he basically did say, yeah, motherfuckers don't. He's like, no, that's true. Motherfuckers don't. See, th that's all I guess what Jamal was saying. But now. Because that's the truth. Think, that's the truth. I don't think that's necessarily Muffins the on the point. internet listen to Eminem. Yeah, but it's still, it's not necessarily that I think it's because Conway is signed mm. to them and so he felt like he Black had to defend it's fucking getting people that are on signed Eminem to talk shit kind of a little okay. bit about him so okay. he kind of feels some way about that okay and, and because this is the other thing didn't Vlad I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Vlad. didn't Royce the 5'9 and Eminem have a Eminem fucking beef for, for, yep. be for years for fucking years Years wasn't he dissing the songs of Eminem or by Royce, Royce the Five Nine? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the best disses of Eminem, the fucking rapper at MC, is by Royce the fucking Five Nine. That's true. So he can't act like Eminem ain't got nothing to diss about. This is real, but man, I, I don't think that they they good friends. Of course, but now I'm they are. But there was a time when they wasn't. No. Right, look. Also, and how I feel about this. Had a bad alcohol, alcohol problem. Fucking Eminem got sober and shit. Helped him through all the shit. And got sober. All right, all right, come on, let's 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 continue. Griselda, nobody can say nothing bad to me about Griselda. Those are my niggas. So if I go on your show and I do an interview with you and I know that you don't fuck with Griselda, I'm not seeing your side. You don't have a side in my book. That's and you know, y'all keep fucking bringing my name up on the show. Like, you know, Royce would never say, come on the show and say anything bad about Marshall. You got damn right. I wouldn't come on your show and say anything bad about any of my friends. I don't have an obsession with Marshall. It's just an isolated friend. I treat all my friends the same way. I don't speak bad on my friends. I don't, I don't play, I don't have sides. It's our side. It's our side and you don't have a side. That's it. Uh, you know what happens. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's that's how I feel about that situation. And I really think He's if we came be. to a place where we can be a little bit more unified, this is bullshit. if not even just in this country, because the, the value that we bring to this country is ridiculous. I think if we realize that and we could take that value either somewhere else or just stand with each other in solidarity just long enough to where, you know, we can get whatever it is that we need to move us forward as a people. Like it's time to start thinking about the next generation. You know what I mean? Like everybody's coming into this game without the information. You know, the shit that y'all worried about is not important. Like the top 50 list and the top 20, all of these lists and shit like, yo man, like it's cool if you put me on a list and it's cool if you don't put me on a list, you know, you entitled to your opinion. Like in my mind, you don't really qualify to validate me. You know, like, I feel like as an artist, you have to, like, guard that and protect that and not let so many people be in control of that, of you in that way. You know what I mean? So it's just like, we, I just look at all this shit and then I look at the Vlad shit and all of that. That's a dumbass point. 
Because way before he was in fucking music, there was top 10 lists. The top 40 is literally the top 40 well, he records. Can say that he don't care. Motherfuckers don't put him on it. Yeah, but he can't say lists are stupid. Lists are not stupid. Like, people do lists. That's People do lists of everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, people do lists of football, best quarterbacks, best, um, you know, writers, best no, this, best that. Awesome like, people always do that. He's not going to change. I'm not saying he's going to start making things different because he does art. Like, Right, but there's gonna be himself. right, but in this list, motherfucker. Like, so what if you don't want to be there? They're gonna, people are still gonna do lists regardless of whether you want to be on it or not. You know what I'm saying? And people are constantly like, that's always gonna be, and people are always gonna talk about. It. There's nothing wrong with niggas talking about hip hop. People are always gonna you know what I'm saying there's nothing wrong with people talking about fucking hip hop and who they think is good and who they think is not good. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It's like artists. People, people talk about who they think gonna have hip hop forms, but that's still not gonna change the fact that well, there's a famous line that says "fuck the hip hop form." So what? Just say so people say shit. Yeah, but that don't make it valid. <laughs> like it was not valid is him saying that lists are bullshit. No, they're not. You're saying because people are always gonna make fucking lists. Like there's nothing wrong with that. People, you know, judge shit. Part of hip hop is kind of because when people make lists doesn't make them valid. No, but he's saying. Doing lists are not valid, and that's not true. You know what I'm saying? You could do lists all day if you feel like it. The fuck is he talking about? It's like, bro, how long are y'all gonna talk about this shit? Like, why don't y'all just find something else to talk about? Why? It's not an issue over here in our book. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, we respect what you do. Like I said, I respect Lord Jamar, and you know what. He, what he stands, what he stood for in the culture, or whatever it is that he did, or whatever it is that he got going on, I wish you nothing but the best, bro. But your opinion don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like you cannot like shit from here to across the street. We don't fucking care, and neither does anybody else, bro. I hate them. I hate. That's them. bullshit. Or else people wouldn't fucking look at it all the time. People in hip hop do care about people's opinions. That's why he always asks Lil Jamar his opinion of everything. Not he, they don't just talk about Eminem. I think it's because we value Lord Jamar. We value the people value You don't remember me and Steven had this fun conversation on fucking Funky Cafe? You don't remember us talking about fucking Royce and Five Nine? Put in a Royce and Five Nine now. Or, uh, we played fucking Voice of Five Nine on Funky yeah, Cafe. Yeah. We played a bunch of fucking Voice of Five Nine on, on fucking Funky Cafe. Yeah, the, the, the list of conscious rappers is different than the list of best MCs of all time. <laughs> there would be a list of just conscious rappers that might include um, Karis One, Wise Intelligent, um, Brother J. Um, who else? Who else? The conscious rapper. Yes, yes, but they would actually be a little bit lower on the list than those three people that we just named because they're more like Grand Poobah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like Brand Nubians was all conscious rappers. You know what I'm saying? Grand Poobah being the best of it. Um, but there's certain people that are like even you, even Chuck D is a conscious rapper, but I wouldn't put him near the top. He's a he, Chuck D's not a great rapper. To me. You know what I'm saying? He's a He's, he, has, he makes good songs and he makes good, he's not the dopest rapper to me at all you know like he's not like up there in that list at all you know what I mean but he is maybe in the top 20 conscious rappers you know what I'm saying because there might not be as many conscious rappers you know what I'm saying but he's never gonna be in the top MC's list like he may be in the top 150 you know what I'm saying but as far as top <laughs> conscious rappers he might be in the top 20 <laughs> same thing with Eminem Eminem is not in the top 20 MCs to me, but the top technical rappers, he might be in the top five. You know what I'm saying? And the top technical rapper. Niggas like him. You know who I might put in the top, top, top technical rapper? I might put in there, but he might not have enough music. But just offhand, like, just give you an example. Somebody like fucking um, Mystical. Mystical is a very, like, Mystical is like a real ill technical rapper. He can rhyme his ass off. You know what I'm saying? He might not say a bunch of shit and this and that, but technically he can rhyme his ass off. You know what I'm saying? Um, I might even say, I, I, I still might put Black Thought in that category too though. You know what I'm saying? I still might put Black, uh, Black Thought 
in the top one of the top technical rappers too though because he can flip his tongue any way he feel like but even somebody like this somebody who would be higher on that list pun pun would be higher on that list because as far as technical rappers do like <laughs> like if you can figure out a way to fit that many diverse complex complex words into one rhyme you gotta be fucking good the double entendres and triple entendres, Eminem's close to one of the best ones at doing that. Like the triple entendres and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And flipping it around. He's one of the best. He, it's just that the, the vast 95% of his music is not fully relatable to a big audience. It's it's mostly personal shit that you have to relate to if you went through that kind of shit that you brought. And that's not like the average regular person. He doesn't talk about shit that the average regular person He's talking about the shit that a star goes through or somebody who hates their mother or somebody that, you know, you know, like a rapper that had fame and he's white, but he's in a black music genre. He talks about shit like that, but that's not fully relatable to a bunch of motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you don't be sitting back listening to no goddamn Eminem album. His best album by far to me was that Kamikaze shit. On that, he just said shit that I could relate to fine. But up until that, there's nothing that I, you know, that I really was like, okay, let me listen to this two or three times. That album was pretty dope. 